For both these teams, as we take a look at the starting line of four, Tibet Gansi are going in with a 3 5 2 formation. The impeccably named Shakur Adir is between the sticks. Romario Haynes, uh, Horace Morgan, and Shane McIntosh, the back three in the middle of the park. Ramisha uh, Roden, Dominique Goldburn, Daniel Watson, uh, Malachi Rosen, and Johnny Smith, and up top. Shaquel Henry with eight goals and seven assists to his name and Ryan O'Neill Francis their number seven their danger man uh, Daniel Watson the number ten uh, he actually scored in the walk-up final last year he has five goals to his name so far uh, this season Jamaica College on the other hand they they do have a really good squad and they rotate quite a bit and uh, a bit of rotation again uh, this afternoon. Raul Renton is uh, in goal. The back four of Tahir Lawrence, Renton Sales Jr., Malachi Sterling and Tariq Jones. In the middle of the park, Dylan John. He has 14 goals to his name so far this season. He's alongside Javon Mills and Jabari Howell and Jamoy Dennis, who himself has seven goals. Jane Johnson and Giovanni Taylor, who comes into the starting lineup. They have uh, 15 goals between them. So, yeah, they have goals all around the pitch Jamaica College and uh, call Terrell the man with the whistle Jamaica College on the front foot and Adir collecting well and after 16 minutes Adir not a strong presence there in the six yard area and you would pay the price Howell from the right and yep, not collecting well Adir and allowing the opportunity for Jaden Johnson who needed no invitation and added his ninth of the season. Jaden Johnson assists Jabari Howell, it was his sixth. And Tivoli trailing yet again. This opportunity just after the goal <laughs> from the near post and headed just wide from Henry, their leading goal scorer, Shaquille Henry. This was a wonderful save low down from Raul Renton, down with the right foot. That coming in from Goldburn. Tensions clear. Jamaica College would continue to drive forward. Sterling doing well to provide, and Johnson unable to finish. Sterling playing at centre back, liking to drive forward and playing the provider JC with a wasted opportunity there Johnson should have done better then that sales with the attempt he had a couple of free kicks on target did sales and JC continued to come forward Giovanni Taylor with the left foot had an off day Taylor we have seen better from him and then after 51 minutes it's Tivoli Henry. with the, the equalizer and the Dwayne Johnson the substitute on and converting his third of the season, Renton putting it back into the business here. You just can't do that from the Henry free kick. And Dwayne Johnson, who hadn't been on for more than five minutes, making it all square, one apiece. But JC, they continue to come forward and they would have a man advantage when Romario Haynes would pick up his second yellow card, sent off a wild challenge and stood in the mid-drift of the JC attacker and right away sails with the delivery Dylan John with the finish his 15th of the season leading goal scorer for Jamaica College and that was one of the finishes of the season from Dylan John sails with the assist picking up his second assist of the season he sails and that was a lovely finish JC with keep that lead that was on target from Bennett trying to bend it into the top corner and well saved had a couple of saves to make did Adair and that one he did well Sears with another attempt on Adair low down to his left and pushed it out of the business area you could see the Jama Jamaica College blue shirts lurking Amali King and company and Adair making the save you would make another one here as well Made some big saves, but it wasn't enough. JC 
Look at that, 16 shots, nine on target for JC. And they had two goals to show for it. Three on target from seven attempts for Tivoli. They had their moments, but couldn't get enough goals. They fail again at the hands of Jamaica College. Three yellow cards shown by referee Carl Terrell and a red card as well. And we spoke about him. Oh yeah, unfortunate for him, Romario Haynes. Majority of the possession for Jamaica College at 55%. And seven saves made by Adair as well. And there was a crucial one that he needed to save as well. He couldn't get it done. So, Jamaica College, after 45 minutes, after, well, 90 minutes, they come away with a win by two goals to one. Kimani is with our man of the match, none other than their captain, Renson Sears. Thank you, Chris. Manager of Digicel, Kadeen Webley. She'll be presenting the Digicel Man of the Match to Renson Sayers Jr. of Jamaica College. Renson, we have a little chat with you now. You got the three points, the first of the quarterfinals for your team. How ecstatic are you about that? Um, well, in the first game, we gave away um, three points, so we know so we have to come back and get the three points today. Yeah, you have some writing on your wrist. I'd love to know what exactly is written on your wrist tape. Well, it's um, rest in peace to my grandmother and my friend Ozzy Bellingy. And um, love mama, love dad. All right, and in terms of your aspirations this season, do you think JC can defend their championship this year? Well, you know, we come from the home of greatness, so we can always defend our champion. We're going for all three trophies this season. Um, we know we have a little slacks, but we're going to do it this year. All right, thank you, Renson. All the best. Yeah, Renson Sayers Jr. there of Jamaica College. I'll know.